Ferus hardware can be loaded with a designer project and run that project autonomously 24-7 365 days a year. In this video I will guide you through the process of setting up your hardware. First, setting up an LPC. First step is to connect the LPC to your DMX slash RDM lighting fixtures. Next, connect other integration ports to any other systems required for your project, for example serial, MIDI, digital or analog inputs. Connect the LPC to your PC directly, or via an available network for example to control EDMX fixtures, or for integration purposes. The LPC can receive power via power over Ethernet source. If you are not using APOE connection, connect a 9 to 48 volts DC power supply to the DC terminals. Please do not use power over Ethernet and DC power at the same time. When receiving power, the Ferros logo will light up. The other LEDs will then cycle through a test chase. The LPC is ready when the active LED is constantly on, and the Ethernet LED is blinking at random. The LPC does have a legacy USB connection, but connecting via Ethernet is preferred. Connect your computer to the controller or controller network. To allow a designer to communicate with the controller, they need to have compatible network settings. There are three different situations possible. 1. Your computer is set to a fixed IP address. 2. Your computer is set to use DHCP to receive an IP address automatically, and there is a DHCP server present on the network. 3. Your computer is set to use DHCP to receive an IP address automatically, but there is no DHCP server present, in example when your default computer is connected to an LPC directly. All situations are valid. In the last case, you will need to wait up to a minute before starting Designer, as your computer needs to create a self-assigned IP first. On Windows, a limited connection message indicates this process has finished, and your computer will have an IP address starting with 169.254. It can help to turn off other connections your computer may have, such as Wi-Fi, or a second Ethernet connection. After starting Designer the Network tab is visible, even without a project loaded. The controller should show up here in gray, red, or black. Gray identifies the controller has been discovered, but you need to update the LPC's network settings. Faros controllers are shipped to receive an IP address via DHCP. In the last two situations, the controller will connect directly. In the first example, we have to change the IP address from the controller. We do this by selecting it, and choosing the configure option from the menu. This opens the hardware and IP settings for the LPC. An error shows, as designer is still using the old address. Close this window to refresh, and you can see the IP address has updated. We can now communicate with the controller in all examples. If the controller shows in red, you need to update the LPC's firmware to match designer's version. Updating is easy, just select the controller and click reload firmware and then start. The controller will restart. Note that a firmware reload will not clear your network settings. Once your controller shows in black, it is ready to use. Let's connect a TPC. This can only be powered via PoE, and can only output EDMX. Powering up a new TPC, or other touch device, will show no interface set on its screen, as it has not yet been commissioned. Further steps to adjust IP address or firmware are the same as for the LPC. If you are working with a TPC and an EXT, first connect the TPC to the EXT's top port labeled TPC PoE. This needs to be a direct connection to the TPC, and not routed through an Ethernet switch. Next connect the other ports, for example DMX slash RDM or DALI. Then connect the EXT to your network, or to your PC directly. Lastly connect an AC power source to the EXT's mains input. Once the EXT is powered, both the TPC and DXT will boot. The TPC and DXT are ready when the active LED is constantly on and the Ethernet LED is blinking at random. The EXT is an accessory for the TPC, and does not have its own IP address or firmware. After having set up the TPC with the correct IP address and firmware, the TPC will update the EXT, and it will show up as TPC plus EXT and Designer. When using an LPCX, VLC, or VLC plus, you'll notice multiple Ethernet ports. The left port, labeled MGMT, or port 1, is used to communicate with Designer, and with other Faros controllers. 
This port should be used to connect to your computer or main network. The second port, labeled data, is used to output EDMX controlled data to your fixtures. Depending on your setup this might be connected to the same, or completely separate network. After connecting the management and data ports, connect the included plug to an earthed power socket. Flip the switch, below the IEC plug, to power up the controller. Please note it can take a few seconds before the LED and the Faros glyph will light up and the other LEDs will cycle. In Designer, you set an IP address and update firmware in the same way as for the LPC, earlier in this video. When not using a DHCP server, note it can take some minutes before the controller self-assigns its IP address. Now that we know how to get the hardware ready to use, let's learn how to upload a project file to a controller in the next video.